Hi everyone, welcome back to Art Lessons with Rossi. And today I'm going to be doing a, a composition with subtractive drawing using charcoal. And um, I am doing a still life with white objects as well uh, as a silver object as seen in that little ribbon. And I'm going to be using compressed charcoal, my charcoal pencils, a magic rub eraser, a magic rub eraser, a Mars eraser, kneaded eraser, and newsprint for blending. So let's get started. I'm gonna take my paper and I'm going to cover it in charcoal. So I'm gonna take some compressed charcoal and I'm going to um, rub it all over my picture plane. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that there isn't anything underneath your um, drawing paper or otherwise you may create like a rubbing of that uh, object or some something else like another sheet of paper might, that might be under there. Uh, I started that way, ended up moving that piece of paper that was underneath it. So now that I have uh, a little bit of charcoal all over my paper, I'm going to take a piece of newsprint and I'm going to rub that charcoal and try to make it as even as possible. Have that I want to make a little value scale for myself and I'm gonna make the value scale right here on the edge of the paper and I want to have uh, 10 different values that I'm going to put onto uh, my paper so I'm going to use my uh, B2 pencil my hardest of my pencils and I'm going to separate these out um, into uh, a little bit um, more than a, a half an inch, so three, uh, three fourths of an inch sections, so that I can get 10. So now that I have my value scale drawn out with 10 different sections, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'm going to start filling it in. One of my values is going to be the value of the midtone I created on this paper. And that one is going to be the fifth one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's going to be um, this value. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to make it number six because um, I want to see how many different light values I can create because my composition is mostly white. Uh, so now I'm going to take my compressed charcoal and uh, I'm going to add just a little bit of value next to that, uh, into that seventh one. And then I'm going to blend it. I have another little piece of newsprint that I've uh, turned and uh, made into a little point. It's such an easy and inexpensive way to create a blending tool for yourself to just grab a little bit of newsprint, mostly as we um, use newsprint to create our thumbnails, uh, to um, kind of make some work that's really practice. You can just recycle that um, and tear it up into a little blending stump for yourself. If you don't have newsprint, you can always use a paper towel, but sometimes a paper towel will take off too much um, charcoal so just be careful that it's not lifting more than you want it to lift. Um, so newsprint's really good that way. So I'm just going a little bit darker each time, trying to create a step up with my value each time. And I feel like you can see that difference. And in the last one, I'm going to push really hard. I'm going to um, fill that square. And... Not only am I going to push hard, I'm going to leave that charcoal directly on the surface because it looks so much darker and different when it's sitting right on the surface compared to when you're blending it. Maybe I can just make a little bit of a difference between these, um, these two as well. And I can even, if I feel like I've gone too far with one, 
I can use my eraser and just lighten it up just a little bit so that it's darker than um, that sixth one, but uh, lighter than the one after. So something like that. Okay, so now, now that I have the midtone of the paper, let's go the other direction. Let's start by erasing. So I'm going to take my needle eraser and I'm just going to lift just a little bit off of that um, square that's next to it. And just touching it with the needle eraser, seeing how um, much value I can take off. So I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. Just pushing a little bit harder, seeing if I can take off more with that needle eraser, which I can. Then for the next one after that, I'm going to grab my magic rub. So when it comes to my erasers, I really like to um, take little pieces off of them. So by cutting off a little piece, I get all these wonderful angles, like the angles here. Because so much of the time when you use the side of your eraser, it just gets really dull, uh, like this does. And then uh, it's really hard to get an edge. So if you end up cutting it, it's much easier to... Um, to get into little tight corners and to make little lines. So I'm going to erase this part. And if I can't uh, make it look any lighter than the, ne than the needed eraser, which I feel like I, it is, it's starting to. It just might take a little bit of elbow grease um, I think that that's fine. And now I'm going to go to my Mars eraser, uh, which is my hard eraser. And again, I've cut a little piece off of a different Mars eraser. You can still see the writing on it. So that way I can get into all these little corners. And the Mars eraser is my harder eraser. It's going to get me back to white faster. And let's see if I can get closer back to the paper. And let's see if I can get closer to the white of the paper compared to that magic rub. And then for the last one, I'm going to start with my um, uh, Mars eraser. And then on top of that, I'm going to use my white charcoal pencil. just to see what would happen if I added highlights, my brightest sections with that white charcoal pencil. And again, that pencil, we're gonna save for last. We're not gonna use it to, to blend with or do anything else, else with, it's just gonna be for our highlights. So next, we're going to do the drawing of um, the still life. So I'm going to use my 2B pencil and I'm going to draw out my still life and the rest of my space here using planner analysis. I have a lot of ellipses in this uh, piece, so I'm going to be paying really close attention to all those ellipses and other forms using siding, contour line, and planner analysis.
So now that we've done that, the first thing we want to do is add the darker values wherever we see them. So I'm going to start using my uh, compressed charcoal and I'm going to add in all the places where I see that the value in this composition is dark. So adding in all of the black uh, areas and all the areas that have a little label. Just please make sure that you're always following the contour of the form. So for the form like this, I'm going to make sure that I'm curving for the cap. I'm going to make sure that I go up and down for this area. And then on the bottom, I'm going to uh, follow that contour. On the top of the lid, I'm going to make horizontal lines. And at the edges, I'm going to make sure that they curve. And I'm not using a lot of charcoal right now. Um, I'm just using a little bit. And uh, keeping that pressure nice and light. So you don't want to um, add a, a lot of pressure at this point. I just want a little bit of charcoal in these sections that are really dark. And I also want to think about how these objects get darker in certain spots and add uh, some charcoal where I see that happening, like on the inside of this tape, uh, this little edge underneath that, I feel like I already actually have quite a bit of value. Uh, back here, there's a little bit of a shadow, um, some shadows under here that I feel like I already have um, some of that uh, broken out with my um, charcoal pencils. On the ribbons, these areas that um, have these almost horizontal bands, uh, of parts that get darker and just really thinking about them as shape, just thinking about where's that shape that gets darker, where's the shape that gets lighter. Uh, shadows like the little spout being cast over the tape and the shadow of the brush and then this little shadow here. So now that I have uh, created those shadows, I want to take a piece of uh, newsprint. I had used this one before. I'm going to refold it. Perfectly good. I'm going to find a little spot. I'm going to make myself a little point. And I want to be able to work with a little point. Now you might have a blending stump. I find it really easy to just make my own every time and that way I can always just grab a piece of newsprint, make mine into the exact shape that I want, use it, and at the end I can toss it. Um, I also always feel like those blending stumps just cost a little bit more than, um, than I want to spend. If you love them, great, use them. Um, personally, I just feel like uh, I have a pretty good uh, result just using newsprint and being able to shape it into any form that I want. So now I've taken, I'm taking the charcoal and I'm starting to blend it. So I'm just going to blend it. I'm going to follow all of these forms. Um, I'm going to take some of my initial drawing and just start to blend that. Again, just remember to always follow the form of the object um, not necessarily of the shadow. You always just want to follow the form of the object itself. And again, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start blending. And it's okay if I lose a few of my lines, I will add them back. And if you realize you forgot a shadow like I just did, throw it back in there. So now that I've blended everything, I'm going to grab my kneaded eraser and I'm going to warm it up by pulling it apart to make sure that it's nice and tacky and um, I can make it uh, into a nice little point for myself so that I can start erasing. And this is the fun part where I start to lift up where I see highlights and I can also use my eraser to start to blend. So I'm going to start here at the edge of this um, glue nozzle, not right at the nozzle, right at the uh, container part of it. And I don't want to over lift, I just want to start to lighten this area. 
and uh, making sure that I'm leaving the high, the shadows where I see them and um, emphasizing certain edges. And um, don't be afraid to uh, erase away because you can always blend and put it back. So um, feel free and remember that you can experiment, you can play, but the erasing part of this is where subtra the subtractive um, way to use charcoal really starts to work and work so beautifully. So really uh, kind of get used to that neat eraser being in your hand, pinch it to uh, where it gets a little bit cleaner. You don't have to pull it apart every time. You can actually just uh, pinch it a little bit and then let your eyes really focus on these objects, looking and searching for all the areas where there are changes in uh, highlights and shadows because that's gonna be the important thing for us to capture here.